But they reckon without Dave and Dobbin. Dobbin's mighty proud. He may be too old to plow, but he can still sow wild oats. Hey, what's this? Another rolling strike? Mummy, where's the RSPCA? But unlike Dobbin, the modern tractor doesn't have to be kicked to get it off the ground. This model has a four-cylinder hydraulic pump that makes wheel changing and tire repairs almost a pleasure. Say, these city slickers aren't bad. By changing implements on the rear of the tractor, it can be made to do almost any job the farmer wants, except mum's washing. The three-point linkage system does away with heavy lifting and pulling and the tractor can become a three-furrow plow like this in a matter of seconds. The modern farmer appreciates what mechanization can do for him and this tractor, invented by Ulster man Harry Ferguson, seems to be able to do almost anything. The spike tooth harrow folds up for easy transport, but it soon opened up and there's work to be done. Change implements again, and the tractor sets up ridges on ploughed land. Makes work easy? Sure, it even does all the work by itself. The range of implements to be linked to the tractor is almost unlimited. Everything from disc harrow to a mower, which can be assembled ready for work in a couple of minutes. It would be almost worth getting a tractor just to do the front lawn. This one's called Rough on Rabbits. The long ripping shares drive into the ground and rip out burrows. It's not funny for Bunny. Soil can be shifted for dam and insulage pit sinking by means of the earth scoop. The tractor's powerful hydraulic system allows it to haul a tipping trailer, doing away with expensive tip trucks on the farm. It's certainly versatile. A compact circular saw bench makes short work of timber cutting. It looks as if the axe belongs to the horse and plow days too. Steel slabs are driven into the ground to show farmers the new tractor won't break implements that strike hidden obstructions. The tractor lifts and stops and goes on again. 